This beach in Benin may look like the perfect holiday destination, but Ouida has a sinister history. In the 17th and 18th century, it was a slave trading port from where more than a million men, women and children left Africa for their often fatal voyage across the Atlantic. Benin's government wants to restore much of the area, including historic monuments. It's part of a billion-dollar development project aimed at promoting tourism and confronting its role in the slave trade. Further inland, stone carvings of captured villagers forced into slavery and onto ships by rival tribal chiefs. This tour guide says it's vital to acknowledge the past. Ouida is the most marked city in the history of slavery. That's why beyond the movements claiming the cause of black people, we want the sites that have known history to be restored so that the history doesn't die. Remnants remain in Ouida's landscape and architecture. Portugal, Britain and France built forts to protect their profits. Nearby, a renovated museum showing African colonial history from a church bell brought by Roman Catholic missionaries, world maps and tools to imprison slaves. This emotion I have every time I see those chains that were used to chain the slaves, our grandparents, our ancestors, who were deported by the colonizers, it makes me relive things. It hurts a bit, but it's our story and we have to accept it. Benin's leaders say the heritage site will ensure that future generations are educated about their ancestors. I came here this morning because I was missing some information about my culture, which is what I came to visit. And after the visit, I really appreciate the idea of the state showing us what we need to know about history of our country. These are not things we're usually taught at school or in everyday life. If it continues like this, we will have some very beautiful things and we will be able to properly represent our country. As many in the Americas and Europe debate how the slave trade should be remembered, for many in Benin, understanding and confronting sensitive relics of the past could pave the way to move forward. Rahila Mohammed, Al Jazeera.